favorite part of regional convention is? Shut up! Tell us, Shoshana. Shut up! Shoshana. Ow! Shoshana! <laughs> Tell me, what's your favorite part of regional convention? Tell me! What regional convention is? Staying up all night because I want my banquet. Why? You know, then you're tired and you're just groggy. Why is that fun? You go to soccer, so I go to sleep. Oh. Michael Rufa. Huh. Tell me what your favorite part of regional convention is. My favorite part of regional convention? Well, this is my first one, so I really wouldn't know yet. Oh, that's a good point. Well, what, what has been the best part so far, as of now, Friday morning? Well, as of Friday morning... I don't know. It's just, just too good to pick out one certain oh, event. That's what we want to hear. I okay. just, just How much do we owe you there. now for saying that? Um, Hi. Hi. Way by. What are your names? What's his name? Let him tell me. What, what is it? How old are you, Gershon? He's two. How old, let Gershon tell me. How old are you? Two. Two? Do you know my name? What's my name, Gershon? Jeffy. Right, what is it? Jeffy. Jeffy. That's close enough. And what do you have on your forehead? A dicker. A what? Dicker. A, a dicker? A sticker. What does it say? Ban this is a sticker from banana. A from banana? It's from what? What is it from? A banana. That Garrison tell me. The banana. A what? A banana. <laughs> banana. Banana. <laughs> Close enough. Hi. What do you like about regional Shabbaton? You having a good time, Gershon? You having a good time here? Yeah. What's your best part? Did you like the music? Yeah. What else? What's the best part? Yeah. Dancing. Drum. 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 What do you like? George? What do you like best? Drum. A guitar and a drum. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Wave goodbye, guys. Wave bye. Say, I love you. I love you. Say, I love you. I love you. No, just Gersha. I love you. One more time. I love you. All right. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. I just want to say Tolly's birthday today. Speak loud. Tolly, come here, Tolly. I just want to say that Tolly's birthday today. This is Amy. This is Lenny. It's Tolly's birthday today. Lenny, Lenny is amazing. Lenny is amazing. This is Lenny Solomon. You've never met him before.
Guys, um, what else? What other commandments? Hey. Scott, if you can write one of the Ten Commandments, what would you write? Make up your own Come commandment on. for Come everyone. On. So he Stop said it. to go to Shabbat okay. home. What do you Come think? Come on, Benjamin, you got to go on. Uh, oh, yeah. Read the Torah. No, no, well, what, what should we have to add to the Ten Commandments? What would you add? If you can add a commandment, what would you add? Not right. the curse? Not Good one. Why, 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 why shouldn't we curse? Right. Why shouldn't we curse? The best thing what do you say, Nathan? Right, bad things, things will happen, happen right? Because the same math that we right. use right. to say brachas and to sing these beautiful songs and to thank God for these wonderful things, Curses we don't want to use it for curses. Yeah. That's not right. Yeah, what do you have to say, Nathan? Hey, who else has an idea? Nathan, yeah. you have an idea? Nathan. What's one for you? Think of one. One thing that we'll do that aren't so nice, not so nice, we should keep it in the Torah. What is that? One rule. Got one? Think of one. What? I don't know, sir. Scott, do you have an idea? Ellie, think of one. Scott, you're a bright young guy. You got one? Ellie. Tell me it now. I don't want to tell. Oh, you told it. Oh, you told it. Whisper oh, to me. I don't want to tell to you. I don't want to tell to you. Think of a rule that God maybe should put in. No, we don't want to put it out to you, okay? How about, like, maybe not to lie? That's right, yeah. That's a lie. Is there a rule thing? that you can't no. abuse advisors? All right. So we. we, we not. <laughs> so is that, do you have a good one? No. All right. So we're gonna go on. Let's see. You know what? Maybe Debbie has a good one. Let's Debbie for one. You're Debbie. not allowed to abuse advisors. That should be in a Torah, you think? <laughs> 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 and throw the grass. Throw the, the grass. No throw the grass. No. Throw the grass. 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 Nathan, should you be allowed to wear sunglasses? Hey, stop. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you! How do you feel would constitute the thing? Okay? Uh, I've been wasting 10 bucks on you. Wasting me? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Y
when they can stand by and allow such a thing to happen and not bat an eye. Obviously, their level is very low. And the Jews, unfortunately in this case, once again serve as a barometer. This idea of Rabbi Yehuda HaLevi, that the Jewish people serve as a barometer, and by serving as a barometer for what is happening in the world, uh, set an example to the world of their level was taught by a prophet, and this prophet's name was Yeshayahu. Yeshayahu, I don't know if you studied the book, has a chapter where he speaks about the suffering servant of God, right? And the suffering servant of God is a person who suffers, 
individuals like I've just showed you how you are that you come here even right then you got to say to yourself as as an individual why well, don't if I believe in God and believe the only way I know from God is the Torah because if we didn't have the Torah we wouldn't know about God so if I believe in God and I then and why in the world don't I keep shut up because that is um, you know it's one of the major it's the foundation of Jewish life is saying on the seventh day, I don't even give a damn what the Orioles do, although I know they lost. But, but it's like saying I don't, I don't care what happens. I don't care about Sports Saturday. I don't care about about the yard sale next door. It's just shy. It's my day to close my door and say, "Well, I got something to say." Is that a tape? You go home next week. Why won't you keep shopping? Chances are I, I probably won't. Your family will be well, Next time your family's not around, why won't you? See, it's easy for guys like all the kids who, who keep shop and saying, like, you know, Rebecca. Well, I wouldn't say it's easy for them. It's just kind of habit for me. It, I mean, it is for me. You know, but I, I like to take time, say, 45 minutes before shop to understand what, what I'm doing. I mean, I'm not just, you know, here, you know, even if you work five bucks an hour, you work eight hours, it's still 40 bucks. I'm just an hour. That's what I work on Saturday. So, you know, you gotta take time, but not the 40 hours in the lot. You can't buy a dozen roses for the six pence a guy. But, but um, it's something I was just looking into. <laughs> Forget me, I'm just going off on it. What was I saying? Yeah, so, 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 I mean, I take time out so it doesn't become habit for me. So, so. I'm working on your business, including your legal activities, and then you're working out your material reform. But you keep that's a pretty excellent point. Now, I'm going to be real blunt on this, okay? And those of you who get offended, I want you to tell me you're offended, all right? But I only think there's one kind of Jew, to tell you the truth. I don't think there's anything called conservative reform. Listen, bottom line is in 100 years from now, people won't even know. Conservative reform will be some kind of history thing. And the only thing still be around is Orthodox. You know why? Because that's what people were before. And then when your grandparents came over from Europe, some of them said, well, I... You may you may disagree with me, but but I hope I'm alive in 120 years to turn to you guys and kick your canes kind of <laughs> and say I told you so because because it's kind of like a fleeting thing. What what reform? I'm not I'm not well I guess I am here to, to get all over them. I was gonna say I'm not here to get all over them, but I am. I'll tell you why because it doesn't make any sense to me. If God created the heavens and the earth. And God gave the Torah, and he didn't put any extra by any of them words, like, uh, keep Shabbos. You know, and he didn't say, well, that'll land in 1840 when the conservative movement started. You know, the reform movement. It, it, it wasn't like that little little doily over there, you know, the little doily. It, it didn't have it. It just said it. It didn't say, if, if God is, can, can kill and, can, and gets revenge and gets mad and, and, and gives, rewards you for the good, then there's got to be... You know, there's no other, there's one kind of Jew in it. A Jew is somebody who who believes in the creator of the universe. Now, I know it's hard to wake up one day, and you've never been taught about it, and wake up one day and say, well, it's Shabbat time. You know, I got to keep time, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. See? So, you understand what I'm saying? So that's really hard. You haven't heard a word I said, but that's okay. So, do you take offense to that, Rachel, that I tell you that there's no such thing as that they're going to die out in a hundred years? I take offense with your, your own personal opinion. Which is probably better than yours in some way. <laughs> this is the deal. No. Um, does anybody disagree with me? Raise your hand. I say consider reforms we've done in a hundred years. Does anybody agree with me? Disagree with me? Agree or disagree? Disagree with me. Eric, why don't you disagree with me? I agree with you because if you look where it started, it all started in Germany, the reform movement. And the same thing happened in Germany 100 years later. They had a Holocaust there. And Jews tried to differentiate themselves from the regular popular, you know, to, um, the reform Jews tried to make themselves just like the rest of the population. They still got rejected after all they did for Germany. And they, got, and they all got wiped out there. And the same thing could happen here. How many people believe this is a good point? That's great, thank you. How many people believe that the same thing could happen here? 
How many people believe that the same thing that happened in Germany could happen here? Germany was a democratic country. Yeah. Why don't you believe that that could happen, Jessica? <laughs> just didn't hear the question. I understand. Why don't you believe that it'll happen in America? Well, the government doesn't Are you kidding? No. What are you, 14, right? 15. No, I just, I mean, anything's possible, but, I mean... You just don't think it'll, it'll ever happen? You think because we learned from the past or it'll just never happen? Let me tell you a little history about the Jews. Yeah, Lane. I don't think it's gonna happen because there's Wake up, pal. Listen, let me, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. There's so many different types of people in America. You know, in Germany, there was only... Yeah, there's the Hispanics and the Cubans and the... Well, the same thing like this. Yeah, but there's more reason why I don't think it's gonna happen because I don't want to believe it's gonna happen. Uh, that's a good answer. Yeah, that's a good answer. Yeah, that's a good answer. Okay, that's the best answer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you think it's gonna happen, huh? Why didn't you raise your hand when I asked you? You did? Why do you think it's going to happen, Yoni? Um, I don't know, because I feel that um, there's a lot of anti semitism now. You know, people don't realize it. Uh, who else? Let me see. What else? Renee? What do you, you don't think is going to happen, do you? You hope it does? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, God's gonna, God's gonna throw down millions of dollars, everybody. I hope it does too. Yeah. Good answer, Renee. No, Renee, Renee, you think the same thing happened in Europe is gonna happen in America? You don't think so? Why? Because I think. No, I can't hear you. Like, I'm sure those guys down here are going. I wish I could hear her talk to you. What? I just don't think it You don't think it'll happen? Do you have no real be Risa? You think it'll happen? You don't think it'll happen? Ellie, you don't think so. Why? Because you're in a nice, rich community. Right? You're in Capella. Oh, hi, I have a question for you. Yeah. Okay, do you think people should be able to observe Shabbos when they want to that other people asking them, why don't you keep Shabbos or why don't you keep kosher? Well, I'll tell you. Here's my answer. 